we have two countries, country A and country B, and two products, guns and roses. Now, if country A puts all its effort into the production of guns, they can produce 20 guns in a day. Or, if they put all the effort into the production of roses, they can produce 80 roses in a day. For country B, if everything goes into the production of guns, they can produce 10 guns. Or, if they produce only roses, they can produce 20 roses in a day. Now, we can see that country A has an absolute advantage in the production of both products. Absolute advantage? They can produce more, 20 versus 10, or 80 roses and only 20 for country B. But absolute advantage is not the key to trade. We need to look at comparative advantage to decide whether these two countries are going to trade. Now, to calculate comparative advantage, we need to express the cost of producing guns in terms of roses. In other words, we need to say, what does it cost in country A to produce one gun? Now, to calculate that, to produce one gun, how many roses must we give up? So it's 80 divided by 20, it's 4. So the opportunity cost of producing one gun in country A is 4 roses. Now we can do the same for country B. To produce one gun in country B, we must give up 20 divided by 10. We must give up 2 roses. So the opportunity cost of producing one gun, country B, is 2 roses. For country A, it's 4 roses. So it's more expensive to produce rose guns in country A. Country B as the comparative advantage in the production of guns. The opportunity cost of producing guns is less in country B. Now, what about roses? We can do the same exercise for roses, and I'm going to start with 20 and 80 again. Now the question is, how much does it cost to produce one rose in country A? So it's 80 divided by 80, that is 1, so we need to divide the 20 by 80 as well. So, and 80 divided by, 20 divided by 80 is 1 over 4. So, the opportunity cost of producing one rose in country A is a quarter gun. We do the same for, for country B. 20 divided by 20 equals 1. So, one rose cost 10 divided by 20 is a half. So country B, the opportunity cost producing one rose is half a gun. Now again we can compare. In country A, a rose costs cost a quarter of a gun. Country B, a rose costs half a gun. So the opportunity cost of producing roses is less in country A than country B. Therefore, country A has the comparative advantage in the production of roses. Country A is going to produce roses. Country B is going to produce guns because the opportunity cost producing guns was less in country B.